it's me again, Diana from Pinay Min, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you my new and improved nighttime skincare routine. If you notice, I have so many videos about my skincare routine. Even though I keep trying products, I keep changing my skincare. One thing that's never gonna change, it's always gonna be fungal acne safe. It's gonna be around the mid-range, like affordable, not too cheap, but not very, very expensive. And products that are easily available here in Korea. You wanna try the products that I'm using and you don't live in Korea, maybe you live in the Philippines. What I'm gonna do if I'm in your shoes is I'm gonna check all the ingredients and then maybe there is an alternative product that may be available in your country. So that's what I'm gonna do if you can't find a product that I'm using here. Okay, let's get started. So. For my nighttime skincare routine, I'm doing five steps. So the first step is always double cleansing. So I'm using cleansing water for the first step of my cleansing. The cleansing water I'm using is from Bioderma. So I only have a little left. So tomorrow I have to go to Olive Young. It causes acne if if there are excess makeup or impurities that are left in your skin if you don't do double cleansing. Next step is a Tooth House Whip Cleanser. Soonjin Whip Cleanser. Third step is one thing. Artemisia Capillaries Extract. One thing from One Thing brand. So I'm not sure if it's a readily available in other country, but that one is really good. The fourth step is ampoule from Dr. A.G. Sika Hyaluronic Calming Ampoule. And the last step is my moisturizer from Dr. A.G. Moist Derma Sika Repair Cream. Now, let me show you how I do my nighttime skincare routine. Okay, so um, first step, of course, cleansing water, but I'm gonna do my hair first. Because I have this bangs. Okay. That will do. So at most I'm going to be using two um cotton pads. This what I just this is what I'm just gonna do. I'm just going to pump. Until it's damp. And by the way, this also safe around the eyes and lips. So you don't have to buy a separate cleanser for that. So it's winter here in Korea. My skin gets super dry. I'm, I'm using another moisturizer because I usually just use uh, Ampoule for, you know, when it, when it is summer or yeah, when it is summer, but for spring, autumn, and winter, I usually um, add one more occlusive or moisturizer. Okay, look how dirty this is. Wow. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna use one more. So tomorrow I'm gonna be buying another one. Look how. I'm so loyal to Bioderma cleansing water. I haven't found a alternative Korean brand. So the acne safe cleansing water, please let me know on the comment section and I might have to check it out tomorrow. So I just want to find products that are easily or readily available here. This is readily available, so it's not really a problem, but I just want to use like all Korean products. So just, you know, but, and I'm also curious if there is a fungal acne safe water cleanser or cleansing water Korean brand. If you know a product, 
please please let me know in the comment section i'm going to try it out myself okay Ooh, that feels so fresh Okay, so my next product or the next step is Sunjun Whip Cleanser from Etude House. So I'm just going to pump two to three. See? Wow. So rich. next step is going to be my toner that I bought from Olive Young which is called One Thing. One Thing. So this is, um, if you're not familiar with it, this is a drugstore brand and it's uh, very safe for fungal acne. I think it's only have five ingredients and I checked them all those ingredients are totally safe totally if you have acne prone skin so what we're gonna do is we are just going to apply it her face with cotton okay so the next step after my toner is my ampule so this is an ampule from dr ichi and um i really like this ampule because well first of all it's fungal acne safe and it's so hydrating i think this is just enough if for example it's just summer or spring this would be enough for me but since it's winter i added one more moisturizer on my skincare routine but this one, if you are living in a tropical climate, then this one would suffice. It's so good. It's very light on your skin. It's super hydrating and it's not oily at all. It does not look oily. It's just dewy and stuff. It's very good. Okay, so I'm just gonna here like this. Straight on and just spread it evenly in your face and then I would tap it like tap it like this so it's so you can tap it like this and tap it like this too feels so moisturizing it's it's just look a little bit oily on screen but when it takes time to you know absorb in your skin like two to three minutes it's it's okay so let's do it like this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so um pure is you know starting to get absorbed in my skin my next step is or my last step is my moisturizer from dr ag same brand dr ag derma plus moist derma Sika repair cream this one is my holy grail just can't stop raving about this product so i'm just gonna put it in like this just to add bit more moisture because you know it's 
skin gets so dry, especially in the evening or sleeping. Spray it like that. Okay. There you go. Your skin will just look a little bit more hydrated. I mean, you know your skin better. So if you think you need more hydration, I'm gonna go ahead and use another moisturizer. But if not, I think an peel is just enough, honestly. But my skin is on the drier side because of the weather. Here in Korea, it's more like super dry winter. So it's a good idea to put on another slab of moisturizer and then you can pat it like this or like this just pat it over make sure there you go ah look at my skin I love this moisture. So that's it for our video today. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to get all new notifications. So I'll see you on my next video. Bye!